Good morning. Uh, still okay? Everyone still okay? Okay, so uh, I'm Spencer. Uh, I'm a UX uh, designer or a user experience designer. Uh, I work with Tita JC at Web Dev Studios. And uh, what I do is design the websites that I hand off to uh, the engineering team or the development team to where they do the coding for the website. Uh, so today, uh, I'm just going to tackle a few uh, simple concepts with regards to how you would design your websites. Just uh, simple things that uh, some would consider basic but are really important foundations that even uh, professionals still uh, still use because it's a very important uh, thing that affects all your design. So to start, um, I'm just going to try to make it simple because um, we have a, big, a wide range of ages here. Um, but if you have any questions later or be it something more advanced or if you didn't understand uh, anything uh, that you want to simplify more, please let me know. Um, but to start, uh, does anybody have any idea what design is? Like uh, just how you understand what design is? Anybody? Gab, Gab right? Uh, so, um, most people, uh, equate, uh, art and design as a similar thing. Um, but, uh, for the most part, it is similar, but, uh, when it comes to art, art is more expression, whereas, uh, design is more, let's say, uh, purpose driven in a sense that, um, you are trying to achieve something or try to make things work better. Uh, rather than just uh, making things look nice or making things look pretty, although that is a big part of it. So, uh, in terms of, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, it's more than just making things look uh, pretty, but it's also making things uh, functional and easy to use. Uh, in our case, with uh, web design, it's trying to make your website not only look attractive and uh, catches the attention of uh, your visitors, but also to make sure that they are able to use your website as long as uh, uh, as you intended it to. And then um, to not only make it functional, but also uh, easy for them to use, not give them a hard time to look for the things they need to look for and uh, the things they need to uh, go to that you intend them to, to go to. So next, uh, like I mentioned, I'm just going to go over a few basic things that are still very important foundations. Um, to start, uh, I'm just going to go over three, uh, three basic things, which is color, space, and size. Let's start with color. So colors, uh, this is in terms of what you'll be making later and uh, something you can use later on as you uh, advance in your uh, design journey. But uh, colors should have uh, contrast. Uh, I'm going to explain more later because you also have to consider that uh, not everyone has uh, good eyesight or some people have uh, vision problems such as color blindness or they can't see very well from afar. Uh, also, there are exceptions. Although there are exceptions, uh, you try not to use too much colors in your design. Uh, there are uh, examples where, in like uh, Tita Jay's presentation, where she used a lot of colors uh, since this is intended for kids. But if you noticed earlier, there are still two or three main colors that are standing out, and I'll explain more later. So in terms of contrast, uh, what it means is like how your colors are different from each other. Um, if you can see the chart here, there are color combinations that are marked good 
or poor. Um, for example, in like with the color orange, uh, who knows like what the color combination of orange is? Uh, anybody? What color and what color makes orange? Yellow and red, very good. So as you see, um, orange is a combination of red and yellow. It's not very vis visible here, but there's a word poor here in red. Be and it's not very vis visible because uh, the, the contrast is very low because uh, it is too related to the color red. And that's why you had to make sure that the color combinations you use are uh, different enough that you are able to read things or different uh, differentiate things that are uh, in your, oh sorry, in your uh, design. And then, when it comes to using too much colors, uh, if you see here, uh, this design is basically using all the colors in the rainbow. Uh, although some might find it attractive, it's not a very good design in terms of you are not able to find the things that you need to find. And it is very hard to read. So that's why um, the, my advice here is, uh, although there are exceptions, you try to stick to two or three color combinations so that um, uh, aside from being uh, not too overwhelming to people, it's also easier to remember. For example, uh, what is the color of Facebook? Does anybody know? Exactly, because it, they're easier to remember because they only use uh, two or three colors. Uh, how about uh, Spotify? Exactly. So uh, my advice is you try to lessen the colors you use. Um, it's fine to use more colors, but uh, you try to use uh, two to three colors that are uh, more of your main colors and make them more uh, make them stand out more. And then space. What do I mean by space? It's not after space or like rockets and spaceships. What I'm talking about here is the space between the elements of your website. So when it comes to space, don't be afraid to put space around your objects. Most people try to uh, crowd things and uh, not just with web design, but with most things, they try to put so many things in their layout. Uh, but you have to make sure you have enough space so you let your design breathe because uh, space around objects are uh, help, you fo uh, help people focus and draw their eye towards what you're trying to make them look at. So this one is a very bad example of using space. Uh, as you can see, everything is very crowded. It's too many objects, uh, too many colors. And you have a hard time looking at uh, things and looking for anything you want to look for. Compared to uh, the Google homepage. Does anybody know what, uh, everybody knows what Google is, right? Yeah, so uh, the main thing that Google does is for people to search on the internet. So what they do is put the search bar right in the middle and put a lot of space around it so that when you go to their website, you immediately focus on the thing they want you to look at and what you are looking for. In a less uh, extreme example, so this website right here, although there are so many things around it and there's a big picture in the background, uh, most people will get drawn to the middle here with the text because they put enough space around it that uh, you are still drawn to it you are uh, your focus your eye is still drawn to the text right there and because the the headline is big enough and bold that's the first thing you try to look at and then the last thing is size so the size of your elements in your website so the first thing you have to think of is to make similar objects the same size. Uh, the human mind uh, is trained to 
try to group or uh, make, uh, what's the term? Try to group things together that are of similar size and color. So if uh, you you have a list or like uh, uh, a grouping of some sort, uh, you try to make them the same size as much as possible. And uh, of course, you try to more make more important things bigger. So uh, for example, um, so which part of this layout uh, did you read first? The big one, right? Yeah, so uh, of course, like I mentioned, uh, make the, the more important things bigger. So immediately, the first thing you see is the biggest uh, text in the middle. And then the next one is the second largest, and then so on and so forth. So um, when it comes to designing your websites, uh, you make sure that uh, the main thing that uh, you, peep, you want people to immediately see is the biggest thing on the website. But of course, you have to keep in mind uh, the previous things I talked about, which is uh, making sure there is enough space around it so that it it's not too overwhelming. And at the same time, you have enough uh, color contrast so that it is easier to read. So to review, uh, the things we talked about are uh, the web design foundations of color, space, and size. Um, as I mentioned previously, uh, you try to use this uh, together to make uh, not only a better looking website, but a more uh, effective uh, design to make sure that it is usable and uh, easy to use. Okay, any questions? Question. No oh, questions? Okay, how about I ask the question? Uh, what are the the three things I discussed today? Anybody know? Prices. Very good. Okay, uh, I think that's it for me. If you have any questions later that you are too shy to ask uh, in public, uh, please let me know. I'm always open to uh, answering any questions you have. So thank you.